Rub it in there. There we go. go. U.S. Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm plugs in to charge an all-electric big rig. Congressman Pete Aguilar of Redlands takes this Volvo vehicle for a spin. What did it feel like to drive? It was great. It was great, <laughs> great to drive. Quiet, uh, easy. This is a powerful machine. Congresswoman Norma Torres of Pomona also puts the pedal to the metal at Tech Equipment in Fontana. The Inland Empire is ground zero. This truck produces zero emissions. It can drive 120 to 250 miles in a day and takes about 70 minutes to charge. This is the battery that we're looking at. Tracy Chake is Tech's regional sales director. She says this is a game changer. In the United States, it's the first of its kind. She hands me the keys and I'll admit, I was nervous, but somehow I didn't crash. It feels surprisingly like driving a regular car. It's pretty quiet in here. It's a pretty smooth ride. Sales are soaring. More than 360 already sold at this lot. They cost over $400,000 each, about three times the cost of a diesel version. That's why you really could use some help from right. the federal government, state government, etc. Absolutely. We yeah. definitely, our customers need help to reduce the costs. President Biden's Inflation Reduction Act invests $369 billion in climate change provisions, the largest investment in U.S. history. California's legislature just passed a record $54 billion in climate spending. California is in the lead, can show the rest of the nation how it is done, but clearly you are facing it, it as well. California also recently announced a ban on all gas-powered car sales by 2035. But during this week's record heat wave, the state asked electric car users to not charge during peak usage hours. Do you understand why some people are skeptical and concerned and hear that as sort of mixed messages? I, to I totally understand the concern. We have got to keep the lights on. Okay, here we go. The president's bipartisan infrastructure law allocated seven and a half billion dollars for building electric vehicle charging stations. The grid's gonna be ready for all this? The grid's gotta be ready. We have to basically double the size of the nation's electric grid with clean energy. Hi, how are you doing? The secretary met some of those training to do just that at San Bernardino Valley College's Clean Vehicle Technology Certificate Program. To reach our climate goals, we've got to have a pipeline of, of folks who can perform the work. Loro Salazar was working on diesel cars. Now he's studying to specialize in electric cars. Electric is where everything is going. And so when I saw that, I was like, oh, I should probably go into electric. These kids want to feel like they're part of something bigger. And this is something bigger and how they can benefit the world. It's really very exciting.